we pick the favorites on who's going to win in week 17, right? This is just based off the spreads. This is based off of what the sports book, what Vegas is saying, who's going to win each game. And then we're going to look at how that affects the playoff picture moving forward. So uh, we did this for the last couple of weeks. We talked about how the Raiders last week would be the biggest winners if all the favorites were to win their game. And guess what? The Raiders, not all the favorites won, but pretty much most of what we predicted to happen in the simulation happened for the Raiders, and it ended up being a great thing for the Las Vegas Raiders. So we're going to do the same thing for Week 17, see which teams could benefit the most if the favorites for each week or for each game were to win. So let me switch it over to my computer right here, put myself in the corner, and then you're going to see the uh, games right here. We could just predict who's going to win each game. So for instance, uh, let's start off with – I have the favorites pulled up right here on my iPad. Uh, the Raiders and the Colts, right? So for instance, the uh, favorites to win in this game are the Indianapolis Colts. Seven and a half point favorites, actually, as a matter of fact. Uh, so they, they are big favorites to win in this game. Uh, let's select the Colts to win at home, right? So how does that affect the playoff picture? Well, it doesn't really uh, affect it too much because you've got the, uh, uh, the Colts right here. They're the fifth seed, right? But if the Raiders were to win this game, You've got the Raiders moving on up 9-7 and seven inside of the 6th seed. The Colts drop down to the 7th seed. Since the Raiders beat the Colts, they have the tiebreaker. So that's how it affects the playoff picture. So let's pick, let's pick the Colts. Uh, and they are the 5th seed sitting at 10-6 after this week. Now we've got the Giants and the Bears. And the Bears are a 6-point favorite. So uh, let's pick that. That doesn't affect the playoff picture. Both teams have been eliminated. The Buccaneers and the Jets. The Bucks, even though they're on the road... Big favorites, 13 points. Uh, they move on up to the second seed. That's because the Cowboys, we haven't determined their game just yet. Uh, the Falcons and the Bills over here, we've got the Bills as 14 and a half point favorites. Big, uh, the Falcons are big underdogs. Right now, they're the fourth seed. So if we click them to win, they move on up to the third seed. So it's just between the Bengals and the Bills at this point on the third and the fourth seed. Uh, Eagles and Washington. This is a huge game. If Washington loses this game, they are out of the playoff picture, and the Eagles solidify their spot inside of the playoff race. The Eagles are the favorites, uh, three and a half point favorites. So we pick them to win. They move on up to the sixth seed over the 49ers, the seventh seed. Uh, the Chiefs and the Bengals. This game should be a good game, one of the uh, games of the week. Uh, you've got the Chiefs, five point favorites. So they are the first seed. The Bengals are the fourth seed currently. Chiefs win, Bengals stay at the fourth seed. So, I mean, this is going to be big. For the Bills to beat the Falcons and for the Chiefs to beat the Bengals, uh, it's just a matter of matchup. Like, the Bengals drop down to the fourth seed, the Bills move up to the third seed. Uh, the Jaguars and the Patriots is the next game that we have here. So, the Patriots are the favorites. Wow, 15 and a half point favorites. That is a, that is a huge margin. Right there. So the Patriots win. They are up at the sixth seed. Uh, the Dolphins and the Titans. That should be a good game as well. The Dolphins on this amazing seven-game winning streak. Will it last? Uh, actually, Tennessee is the favorite. So they're predicting that Tennessee is going to end that winning streak for the Dolphins. So we pick Tennessee to win, right? They remain the second seed in the AFC. <clears throat> the, the Rams and the Ravens. Uh, that should be a good one as well. Right over here in the corner, we got the Rams as the favorites. They win on the road, right? That <clears throat> that affects the playoff picture in the sense of, hey, the Ravens were the seventh seed, and now they drop out of the playoff picture. The Chargers move on up. Now, if the Ravens were to win that game, you've got Baltimore as the seventh seed. So this is a big, big game for the Ravens against a tough team. Now, this, the Rams on this side move on up to the second seed. Uh, the Broncos and the Chargers, we've got the Chargers as the favorite, so we pick them. The Ravens already lost. They're already the seventh seed, but if we beat them, uh, they solidify their spot inside of the AFC wildcard race for the Broncos. However, more than likely, it is almost virtually impossible at that point to get inside. Actually, as a matter of fact, I think they would be eliminated if they were to lose this game. Uh, the Texans and the 49ers doesn't really affect the playoff picture too much unless it's on the side of the 49ers, currently the seventh seed. Uh, whoop, they were to win. They move on up to the sixth seed uh, via the tiebreakers with the Philadelphia Eagles. 
the Cardinals and the Cowboys, that should be one of the game of the weeks as well. Uh, and you've got the Cowboys winning that game, right? Hey, by the way, Joe Buck, Troy Aikman, why do you always call Cowboys games? Why is that? This game actually got flexed as America's Game of the Week on Fox because they wanted Joe Buck and Troy Aikman to call it a Dallas Cowboys game. Huh? Why? Why is that? I'll never know. Anyways, the uh, Cowboys are five and a half point favorites to win in this game. The Cowboys, they get their position back up inside of the uh, top two in the NFC. Uh, the Panthers and the Saints, the Saints are the favorite to win in this game. They're trying to keep the playoff hopes alive, but even if they win, I mean, the, with the Eagles winning, with the 49ers winning, it's going to be kind of tough for them to make it to the N NFC playoff race. Uh, the Lions and the Seahawks, doesn't affect it, but the Seahawks are the favorites, so we'll just pick them. Uh, the Vikings and the Packers should be a very good game. The Packers are the, pa are the favorites, even though the Vikings upset them uh, the first time that they faced. They say inside of the first seed, and the Vikings – essentially are eliminated from the playoff race. Uh, and then finally, the uh, Monday night football game, this, the Browns and the Steelers. Who's going to win this game? We've got the uh, Cleveland Browns actually as the favorite to win in this game. So uh, trying to keep any sort of uh, playoff hopes alive. Uh, they win, they move to 8-8, eight and eight, but they still, I mean, are outside of the playoff race because they are they are trailing the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, that is how the NFC and the AFC playoff picture would be uh, shifted around. If all the favorites were to win this game, I mean, uh, I would say the biggest winners at that point would be the Buffalo Bills. I mean, they move on up to the third seed. They're continuing to move on up. And it's just a matter of matchup, honestly. Like, they face the Falcons, which is not that difficult of a matchup for the Bills. The Bengals, however, on the other side, they have this hot, probably the hottest team in football in the Kansas City Chiefs. They have to face, uh, and, and they were to drop down. Uh, the Chargers, as well, are, are one of the biggest winners. Uh, on the AFC side, on the NFC side, the Philadelphia Eagles, they just maintain their spot, which is good. That's exactly what they want. And the biggest losers, unfortunately, the Arizona Cardinals, man, they're on this losing streak and it's just not looking good. Uh, but yeah, if, if all the favorites were to win this game, that's what would happen in the playoff picture. Uh, leave your thoughts and your comments down below. We're going to come out with our weekly picks tomorrow uh, based off of what you guys, the viewers, believe. We're going to take a poll on social media. Uh, but then also we give our opinions on well on who we believe is going to win each game. But that's tomorrow. This is just based off of the, the sports book and who's favorite to win. Uh, leave your comments and your thoughts down below.